All right, this is my DIY homemade mud motor. Um, it is a 79cc Predator engine. And all this is, is a fence post. Well, not a fence post, but a sign post that I cut down. And the shaft is a 5 8 piece of rolled steel. It's three feet long. You can get it at probably Lowe's. I got this one at Farm and Home. And uh, these bearings here are called pillow block bearings. You can get those on Amazon. These are 5 8 pillow block bearings. And what uh, we welded a 5 8 Lovejoy coupler to the 5 8 shaft. And then we just put the set screw in the key shaft. Got a couple support braces there. There's really not a whole lot to it. Piece of steel made to mount straight to the back of the motor. And the cavitation plate, which I don't have one of these on my other homemade motor, which has a longer shaft and a little bigger engine. This one seems to run quite a bit better. Um, the tough part is uh, probably the prop and we used a 5 16 bolt welded it straight on to the 5 8 inch shaft and this is a three-quarter tapered propeller uh, the hard thing about that is I have a lathe at home and I took a piece of ne or nylon uh, one inch nylon rod and I had to laid it down to where it fit inside the taper shaft and all that's holding the shaft on is pressure you just bolt that straight onto there we got a um, bolt just kind of sandwiching it in there and you can't really see this bolt but or I'm sorry this washer and that washer and it's just pressure the other motor I had or have I run it for the last two seasons it's worked really well um, so if you're just hunting in uh, marshes, not so much, you know, the real thick mud. This ran me really well at a jogging pace at just uh, half throttle. It didn't seem to matter whether it was half throttle or full throttle. Um, did really well. Half throttle, full throttle gave me the same speed. So works pretty good. And then uh, this is the mounting bracket. A couple clamps welded on to a piece of metal this is your pivot to go left and right and this is your pivot for up and down and just a piece of pipe for the handle um, I'll probably put a throttle on this one even though it doesn't really need it but I mean with the motor I think I got it on sale for 90 bucks shaft was $14 the uh, or uh, yeah pillow box bearings, seven eight dollars a piece. The prop I think is a five and a half inch prop. You can find it on Amazon or not Amazon but eBay. There's your five and a half mark. And then of course the signpost, which I found it, so that was free. Um, I used a 110 just flux welder on everything except for the bolt going into the shaft and the shaft going into the Lovejoy coupler. Uh, you could probably use the set screw on this guy. Definitely use Loctite, so, except for the bolt, I don't know. I don't know if the 110 would've worked or not. So, pretty easy build. Hope you like it. Didn't cost me much, a little over 100 bucks. And the other one that I had, I've used for several seasons, or two seasons now, and I actually flipped my boat and drain the oil and gas out of it fired it right back up so a lot cheaper than buying a kit and it was fun to build thanks for checking it out oh and it's uh on a uh i don't even know what the brand this is it's not the mo marsh the other one four rivers and so i can get this my dog myself probably 80 decoys gun gun bag and i run it just fine